CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus is here with more. Dr. Agus, now that it's official, what happens next? Well, it's certainly a big, exciting moment. Right now, vaccines are being distributed literally as we speak across the country. Minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit in special containers are being delivered to hospitals and pharmacies for hopefully beginning administration of the vaccine on Monday. Um, you know, I, as a healthcare professional, actually had to sign up. And so hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll begin my own vaccination. I hope so. So if this vaccine was developed in less than a year, which is record time, how do scientists know what the long term effects are? You know, this is what I think the misunderstanding. This is a decade of science. It's record time because science has really improved over the last many years. Every vaccine in the last many decades, the side effects are seen in the first couple of weeks. In this vaccine, we haven't seen anything in terms of serious adverse events outside of the first day or so. And so I am very optimistic. Can I say no chance? No, but it is much more likely a side effect from the virus than anything from the vaccine. Now, Dr. Agus, we asked for questions for you on social media, and a recurring theme was once other vaccines are approved, how should Americans choose which to take? You know, I, I get this all the time. And the bottom line is, myself, I will take the first vaccine that's available. All three of the lead candidates, Pfizer, Moderna, and AstraZeneca, Oxford University, are amazing vaccines. Each have their own merits, and all of them are 100% efficient in terms of blocking hospitalization and serious illness. So take whichever you can get first, and the sooner you will be protected. Dr. David Agus, thank you.